What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Conception Plus, made up to 12 stars. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, in the last episode, uh, we did some more uh, baby making. We uh, got we did some bonding stuff with the maidens and everything. On uh, and in this episode, um, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the to the labyrinth. Um, and then. Uh, And then we're going to call it. We're gonna to go to Labyrinth, uh, go against the next boss. I'm assuming that I'm assuming that's what we're gonna do. Um. Okay, so this is gonna be like throughout the entire game, or what? I don't. I don't know. Um. But yeah, we're gonna to go to the. We're gonna face the boss, another boss, and see what happens. So let's go ahead and head to Stardust Labyrinth. Um, there's still one we're missing somewhere. I don't know what, what this is exactly though, but I guess we'll find out eventually. Not worried about it right now though. All right, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and head to the 10th floor. Then we're gonna head up to the boss and see what happens. Hopefully we beat him on the first try. Uh, hopefully we won't die like we did the, against that other one <laughs> earlier. Um, in like, what was it, episode three? Something, I don't know, episode four, episode three, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna like pretty much uh, skip all the all, skip all the fights that we're gonna possibly encounter, unless it's a unless it's a a, a balloon. <laughs> unless it's a balloon. If there's a balloon, we'll definitely fight it. But if there's not, then we're not gonna worry too too much about it. Oh, what was I going to do? I was going to go to, to equip and we're going to team best as per usual. And yeah. Let's see what we can do. I'm not even going to worry about the chest either. Because they're essentially the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah. Where's the next door? It's over here. We haven't bumped into any, uh... Enemies that block your uh, that blocks the door to the next area, so that's nice. Um, these explosions, man. These explosions are not it. I'll try to just grab all these. Grab as much as we can. We can avoid any of those fights. We had to fight one or the other. Um, pretty Don't sure. Don't let your guard down. Next up. Um, but can we actually run we away? Yes, we can. Awesome. Oh, uh, because I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to live life. Not have to worry about fighting anybody. I don't really think we need to. Ugh. There we go. I'm so glad we can run quick. Don't worry. Thank you. Potion. Head on to the next floor. Alright. Let's go ahead and just heal up real quick. Alright. You seriously only have one left? Wow. That's actually crazy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to equip again. We're gonna do team best. Um, and yeah. Now we're gonna save real quick. Uh, this time we're gonna save on the middle one. All right. All right, let's do it. A feeling of dread fills the air. Proceed. Let's do it. Oh. This thing looks fast. And that lean belly, that thing's gotta be super hungry right now. Mana, stay back if you don't want to turn into that thing's dinner. Ooh, this actually might be a good thumbnail. Yeah, I think this is good. Haha! -ha! Sorry. <laughs> you don't need to tell me again. This guy, get out there. I'll be cheering you on from behind. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what happens. I think we'll be let's fine. Go. We'll survive. Oh, you got, you got friends with that. Oh. My turn. Yikes. Okay. Gotta get rid of these guys first, because these guys might be the most annoying to deal with. Let's do this. 
so I'm gonna just try to get rid of these, these guys that are here to help them out before we do anything. Just tag them behind. Go. Uh, curse. Gathers the darkness to engulf the enemy at their feet. Let's try it. Aha! Nice. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Next up. Um, let's go ahead and just. There. I want to finish these guys before we go up against him. Okay, he, he can run out of MP though, so that's pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and heal him real quick. My turn. Let's see, that's actually info. Um, elements win. So if we had fire, if we had any fire moves, it would do tons of damage, but we don't have any fire moves right now. Um trying to play weak. Um Okay. Go left. Two of them? Strike them down. Man, okay. Oh man. Okay. Can't do it like that. Let's go ahead and just kill them to the full. Another call? I'm not taking that right now. Sorry, but I can't take that right no. now. Also, let me get the chain drive. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. Here it goes. Get this chain going. Yeah, we're doing great. We're, we're doing great. Uh, hopefully, Sky can finish it off. Maybe. Do it, Sky. All right, awesome. Is it over? Did it. You done did it. Ooh, and we got times two. Nice. Awesome. Then you went up six levels. Heck yeah, learn Poison Carver. Nice. Alright, cool. You've reached the deepest part of floor B10 in the Spring Labyrinth. From here, you can go to the Ares, Taurus, and Gemini Labyrinths. The Impurities will be stronger than before. How about returning to the surface that you can regroup? I see a dimensional rift over there. That's right. Star children seem tired, so let's head, let's head back. Alright. Speaking of the Spring Labyrinth, I heard from a hero that on Sora there's on there's a country called Japan, and they do this flower viewing thing in the spring. Mm. Some adults get wasted under a tree and fight each other. Is that true? No. Observing the cherry blossoms is the main purpose of flower viewing. Okay. Then you don't need to booze up. Right. You don't have you don't have to so long as you enjoy the cherry blossoms. Oh. So you're saying adults and kids can enjoy it? All right, then let's do the same thing in Banvania. <laughs> Drinking in public is also one of the great things about flower viewing. Alcohol makes every everyone fight friendly here. Hopefully that'll deepen your bonds with the Starmans even more. Hey. I'm not old enough, so I can't drink yet. <laughs> oh come on, you're not on Sora. Who cares about those pesky rules? Well, even if you don't, most of the other Starmans will <laughs> help you at least play nice. Huh? Wait, I get it. You're planning to wait until the Starmans pass out. Hey. Did you say something? Oh, oh. Nothing, oh my gosh. By the way, what are these cherry blossoms like? That's right. They're popular flowers in Japan. They're a pale crimson that, uh, when they bloom in spring. Huh? What sort of color is a pale crimson? Uh, it's kind of pink in nature, but, uh, do you know what this is? Hmm. That is? Oh, I think I do. Kind of like the color of a drunk girl's cheeks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Mana. It's the sexiest color. Mana, you need... Oh my gosh. So the Japanese drink boost for flower viewing, how tasty. I see. Let me try to find a, sm a similar plant in Grand Mania. Now that people don't... Now that people can't get it on with each other, there's not much fun to be had. I'll ask the king to make this flower viewing more widespread. Oh my gosh. Freaking Mana. I understand. I heard from Mana. Narcissus and Trust You will arrange for the people to attend flower viewing every spring. Indeed. Understood, your majesty. 
We'll find a plant similar to cherry blossoms and plant them in a special location. Get your drinks and blankets ready. Flower viewing is in season in Grand Valley, Pennsylvania. <laughs> now you can guzzle, gu guzzle down in spring during the celebration. Oh? Mona, can you even drink anyway? Just how old are you? Well, about that. Let's just say I'm older than you. <laughs> oh, and when the time comes for flower viewing, we, you better ask a girl out. Maybe they'll even invite you. Oh? Okay. That's something to think about. Alright. The music is so peaceful, I love it so much. And it's now April. Alright, we got some new stuff at the shop, I assume. Welcome! Uh, essentially the same thing. What's this? Oh, those are our backup teams, I guess, I'm assuming. Alright, but our team are pretty good as they are right now. I'm not gonna worry about spending any money right now. Come again! Um, because I don't think we really need to. Um, let's go to the day camp real quick. So now we can just do some star maiden hanging out. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Before, before we do anything, let's save real quick. You may never know, right? You may never know if the game will screw up on you or whatever. Okay. Anyways, now let's do Star God Academy. Now let's actually hang out with, uh... Aries first because um or Ari first because it is her month after all. So let's go ahead and hang out with her first. We've already had kids with her, so I think this should continue on the story. Mm -hmm. Not with the story, but like with just the talking dialogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello. He still got jiggle physics, even though we're not in bathing suits anymore. We still got jiggle physics. <laughs> Did you need something from the church? Uh, not really. I just happened to drop by. You seem to enjoy cleaning, Ari. Did it appear that way? Though I do like to clean, this is part of my training, so I must take it seriously. Cleaning is your training? Yes. Cleaning is the best sort of training to cleanse your mind and body. My days right. at the church always start with cleaning. That's... So you do it every day? You're like a maid, that sounds tough. That's amazing. It's nothing special. This is like a habit for me. How about you try it? You'll get used to it immediately. Serving the church together with the sunrise feels really good. Sounds tough considering how you do it every day. Not if you remember that you are serving for the sake of someone else. The heart of serving, that sounds like a difficult concept to grasp. It's not difficult. It just means you are accomplishing things for others. I do so for the Star God, and I serve the people who believe in him. You go into the labyrinths almost daily. Do you not do so because it is for the sake of someone else? That's... The reasons I go to labyrinths, huh? For my hero, it's for myself, it's for you, Ari. For me? It's gonna be so hard to pick a girl to ask to the to the to the flowers, cherry blossom thing. It's gonna be so hard because like all these girls are so great. I love the I love all their personalities. It's for everyone in Granvania, to be exact. Oh, that's what you meant. I was surprised to hear you say such a thing. If even I can help in any way to save the world, I'll gladly do it. I shouldn't just be focusing on getting back to my home world. You are a wonderful person. Oh, thank you. That's not true. You do way more than me. I'm sorry. It's not good for me to impose my views on others. Not at all. Thanks to you, I'm starting to understand what it means to serve. Really? That makes me happy. To understand the heart of service is the first step to serving the church. No, 
I don't have any plans to serve the church, though. <laughs> well, I will always welcome you. Aww. That was cute. I love that a lot. And she's super happy, which is good. Uh, we haven't hung out with my hero in a while. So let's hang out with my hero. Kind of feel bad. We, can't, we haven't really talked to her that much. Let's try and get the, to know the other maidens, you know? All right, I'm just trying to get my mic Thanks close enough, waiting. but not too, too you close. You came to build up our relationship, right? Exactly. All right. I came earlier than usual, so I got to see you and the others in class. It was a lecture on strengthening bonds, so I learned a few things, too. I noticed you came in. It felt like a parent-teacher day, so I raised my hand more often. All right. With such a smart little sister, I'm proud of you being an honor student. <laughs> I can't have my big brother feel ashamed of me, you know. Mahiru. How about we strengthen our bonds today? Our sister just mentioned it in class, right? He said treating each other like family is an effective way to build bonds. Give me a break, big brother. <laughs> Do you think doing this cheap act is really going to help? I guess you're right, so what do we do? I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. Mr. Narcissus was hazy on the details in the lecture. He said bonds are what bond God's gift and a star maiden together. I think there was a pun in there somewhere. Looking back, I guess we haven't done anything like that, huh? In other words, we should probably just try a whole bunch of things. I'm all out of ideas, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I knew you'd just dump it all on me. Dang. <laughs> How about this? Talking is one way people get to know each other, right? We're childhood friends, and we share tons of memories. I think that's something we should take advantage of. And then? So we talk about our memories? Right. Specifically, let's talk about embarrassing memories. We can deepen our bond by opening up and understanding each other better. Was I that embarrassing when I was a kid? I don't really remember. According to Mr. Narcissus, women are better at remembering those things. That's why I'll help you remember. Fine. Guess I'll leave that to you. A long, long time ago. That was ten years ago, when I was still in grade school. Mahiru wasn't particularly good at socializing with others. And the adorable and cute Mahiru was bullied by certain classmates. At that time, Mahiru was timid, so she just quietly withstood everything. On a side note, the bully's house burning down to the ground back then had nothing to do with Mahiru. Why do you make it sound so ominous? One day, on the way home from school, Mahiru was surrounded by some boys in her class. There were six of them. Mahiru was a master in ancient martial arts, but they vastly outnumbered her. Huh? Mahiru, you knew martial arts in grade school? I didn't know that. I'm just embellishing the story. We're almost at the climax, so don't interrupt me. Dang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh no! The pitiable Mahiru was about to suffer at the hands of those beasts. But at that moment. Oh? Don't you dare touch Mahiru. She heard a voice from behind her. When she turned around, she saw... Me? Do you remember now? Right. I, I got a nice beating trying... I got a nice beating trying to protect you. And after the bullies left, with your nose bleeding, you said this to me while I cried. Don't cry, Mahiru. I'll always protect you. Thus ends the tale of the rescued Mahiru. I said that even after losing. That sure is embarrassing. What to do now? I really did feel mortified back then. I'm old. I'm old and over after going home, and I even lost my appetite. Why did you do something so reckless? If you were going to end up that way, you should have left me alone. Would it be better if I didn't help? I couldn't forgive them. I wanted to look cool. Um, I couldn't forgive them. Would it be better to, if I didn't help? I couldn't forgive them. Huh? That's... You were being bullied. How could I just ignore that? Oh. But you know what? I honestly did feel happy. Back then, you looked like my knight in shining armor. And that's what we were going for. <laughs> Mahiru. Hmm? That's... 
That line you, you just said is way more embarrassing than the story. Wh what? Ha, ah, that's so funny. I can't help that I really felt that way. All right. All right, then. Now we both showed an embarrassing part of ourselves. Don't make it sound like it was a job well done. Ha, <laughs> ha. I did promise to protect you, Princess Mahiru. As your knight, I must take you must take you back to our world. Say, speaking of promises. Oh? Do you remember our promise in grade school during summer vacation? Summer vacation? It was during the autumn festival ten years ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what, what promise was that again? You don't remember at all? Right. Not really, no. I... I guess you wouldn't remember, after all. In one ear, out the other. Did someone gut your pumpkin head? Dang. <laughs> anyway, I had fun talking about our memories. I think our bond has deepened quite a bit, wouldn't you say? So, that's that. Dang, she's not gonna tell us what it was. I guess we got to find out, try to figure it out ourselves, or she'll tell us later on the bond. He was pretty mad. The promise made at the Autumn Festival ten years ago. Dang. Alright, and she's super happy! Yay! Okay. Uh, we're almost at the max with Rione, so why don't we do Rione also? And then we'll probably do Sue after that. Rione. Where are you, where are you going? Oh, hello. We're going to the student store. I think I have to classmate with her again. Plan on getting some snacks for the kids that come to the doctor's office. It's a little bonus for them, even even uh, even as a school doctor, popularity matters. Huh? Why does that? Like, why does the academy doctor need to be popular? You come here when you get hurt. No. You're so naive, Sky. There are three doctor doctor's offices in the academy. People basically consider my office to be specialized for the star students. The regular students seem to be reluctant in coming here. Oh, I see. So that's why you're getting snacks. Yes. We're not, we're not answering that. Yes, but I wonder what the kids these days like. I don't really know about that. Why don't you just pick out what you like? Right. You're right, it's best to pick something we can all eat together. Then how about uh, beef jerky? Oh, dried kelp is nice too, but kids probably won't like it. No. I don't, I don't, kids, I don't think kids will really like either of those. Why don't just pick candy or chocolate? No. That's no good. I don't like sweets, so we'll never be able to talk about them. When it comes to jerky, however, I can talk up a storm. It's easy to eat and get and gets juicier the more you chew. The first time I ever ate beef jerky, I... No. Yone, you should tell that to the students when, who come to your office instead of me. Though, that's only if they'll listen. What? What? How, how dare you insult beef jerky? I'll buy the entire carton in that case. I won't let you have any when you come visit. You should just eat dried sardines while I savor my jerky. See you later. Now, goodbye. Mm -hmm. Yone can be so immature sometimes. Alright. Alright, we're almost at the max with her, so I think we have to classmate with her again. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do Sue again, because we haven't talked to Sue in a while. Rottweiler, I know it's cold, but I need to trim your wool a bit. Sue. Hey, Sue, what are you up to? If you get puffier, you can't move. If you can't even get up, you'd look pretty dumb. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, is something wrong? Right. I can't even see you, Sue. Are you in the middle of something? My sheep, Rottweiler, won't let me trim his wool. He's resisting so much, so I'm just going to do it tomorrow. Sue, you trimmed the wool of your sheep too? Yeah. There's more to taking care of my animals besides just feeding them. What they produce is really popular. I can deliver it to stores around town. It's also used in the cafeteria. Oh, really? What they produce, huh? You mean meat? You mean eggs and yolk? Eggs and milk? You mean yogurt? What do sheep produce? Uh, sheep, uh, wool, you mean eggs and meat. Um, what do sheep produce? I need to look this up. I don't, because I never actually, like, thought about, like, what sheep could possibly produce. So, let me just look it up real quick. Um, I mean, some, you learn something new every day, so, um, let's see. Okay. Um, milk. So is it like milk and eggs? 
that's what I was, that's what I assumed. Huh. Uh, our race for fleeces, meat, lamb, hogget, or mutton, or milk. Um, sheep salt. What? Huh. Oh, you mean yogurt? You mean eggs and milk? You mean, uh, I don't think, the thing is, it's hard to find out which one she's gonna like. You mean eggs and milk? Okay. Phew. All right. Yeah. Have you tried them at the cafeteria? I haven't, no. The flan and white sauce pasta are both really good. <laughs> you always sound so happy when you're talking about your animals. Yeah. I'm happy that everyone acknowledges them. The stuff they make is really popular. So I'm happy too. Taking care of the animals and gathering all that sounds like hard work. No. I like my animals. And it's easier than dealing with people. I feel that. Sue. You must really love animals. You don't like to talk much, huh? You must really love animals. Yep. I love yeah. them all. I'd rather say the neutral but response maybe I than something she'd possibly as not much like. As I like animals. Wait, do I hate them? I'm not sure. I don't understand. Which one is it? I don't know either. I'm just not good at talking with them. I see. So then it's not like you hate people. You're just not used to talking to them. When I talk to someone, I get a little sad. Because I know I'm all alone. Aww. That's why I don't like talking to people. Or with you. Should I refrain from speaking with you then? No. This is just my own preference. I have my duty as a star maiden. Don't mind what I just said. Just do what you want. So long as my animals are here, I'll be fine. That will be enough for me. Okay, I guess that's all that really matters. So. Dang, that was actually kind of a little bit sad. No, but she's really happy, so that that's good. Um. Oh, uh, who should we do next? Let's do Ruka. Yeah, let's do Ruka. Let's try this up. Let's try Ruka again. Ruka isn't at the academy. Wait. Speaking of which, I wonder what she usually does. I don't know anything about her. Oh, sorry. I was a little out of it. I was a little out of it. Are you hurt? I Is something wrong? You're barefoot. Here, I'll carry you. Looks like you scraped your feet, so I'll take you to the doctor's office. Oh, is that okay? It was my fault, so let me at least do that if you'd like. I'll carry you home. Okay. Then maybe I'll ask you to do that. Aww. Oh, here it is. Thanks for taking me home. Oh? An orphanage. Well, I'll be going now. Oh. Huh? Hey, what happened to you? Why are you barefoot? Um, I took off my shoes to go play, and some crows stole them. You're lying again. Why do you lie so much when you know I can see right through it? I, I'm gonna go do my homework. Thanks, mister. Aww. Ugh. <sighs> Why is she always like this? Well, what are you doing here? I just brought her home. Is she your little sister or something? Something like that. I'm the oldest in this orphanage, so I take the role of the older sister. As you saw, it can be a bit awkward, but I make do. Oh, so you live here at the orphanage too? <laughs> what about it? Were you two fighting? You should make up soon if that's the case. That's got nothing to do with you! I don't need your opinion on the matter. We have our own circumstances here. Anyway, it's a bigger problem that you found out where my home is. Don't bring any other God's gifts and impurities or whatever into this place. Most of the kids here are nervous enough already. I understand. I'll try not to come here. But what should I do when I need to see you in an, in, in an emergency? That will never happen. But if you do have to come here, call yourself something different. Something different enough that the kids here won't see through you. 
In that case, I'll act as your lover. No, we're just classmates. I'll just be a friend of yours. We're just classmates. Classmates? The Star Maiden class is all female. Do you think you can call yourself a girl looking like that? Dang it. It's a neutral decision, so it didn't affect, it didn't negatively affect it, so it's all good. And being classmates is a big lie. That's so? Oh, really? I thought my heart was already part of the Star Maiden class. You're the only one who would think in such a way. Why don't you attend class while dressed as a schoolgirl, then? I wouldn't call myself God's gift, then, so it's okay, right? You can just leave it at that. It's never going to happen anyway. Now, are we done here? I have to go back and make dinner. I'm very busy. Dinner? Do you make it all yourself? Who else would? I'm the only adult here who helps out. Ruka, you're an adult? Sh shut up! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm at the age where I should have left the orphanage already. But I've been here since I was five. I work here because I still feel I need to. That's understandable. Oh, so you're like me then. I don't have any parents and I was living at my hero's home. I see. I guess you went through a bunch of stuff too. I thought you were more shallow. I thought I could see right through you after reading your mind a few times. <sighs> You're really going all out on me. That's how most people whose minds I read are. It's people like that who get mad when I read their minds. Anyway, we're done chit-chatting here. It's time for you to go home. Right, I don't want to interfere with your cooking. I had, I had fun today. Huh? Fun? Which part could be considered that? I don't think we talked about anything except stupid and mundane stuff. We both know each other better. I got to know you more. I got to know more about you, Ruka. You know a little more about me. Oh man, okay, this this will be hard. Um, I get I get to know more about you. We, we both know each other better. Neutral it's response. Not true. It's fine. I guess. All we have in common is that we're a leech in someone else's home. I probably should have said I got to know you more, but oh well. Hmm. You sure talked a bunch. I think it's been a while since I talked to anyone for this long. I can tell when people lie, so they all avoid talking to me. It would make everything so tiresome. Wasn't that great? Yeah, I'm perfect as a chatting buddy. Since you can't read my mind after all. I don't need a chatting buddy. I really need to go and prepare dinner, or I'll be late. Oh, right. Then I'll see you at the academy again. Uh, again? <sighs> Whatever. Just don't come here anymore. Alright, cool. Um, let's go ahead and do some baby making. Um, so... Oh, what's up, Rione? Oh, hello. What a coincidence, are you out shopping? Something like that, you too, Rione? Yes. My high heels aren't feeling right, so I wanted a shoemaker to fix them. The heels are about to come off. Why do women wear such troublesome shoes? Right. It makes us look better. Mm. But you must maintain your figure in order to wear these. Must be tough being a woman. <laughs> That's right, we do things behind the scenes boys don't know about. I want you to grow knowing about, knowing how much effort women put into uh, in their into their daily routines. Huh, I need to go this way. Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. Bye, Sky. Alright, cool. Um Uh we we hung out with her, right? Yeah, we hung out with Ari. Uh Sue, Rione. Hung out with five people. Who were the Mahiru and Ruka? Okay. So in that case, let's go ahead. Um. Um. You know what? I'm actually going to end off the episode here. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and st uh, start it off with uh, making some babies. And then see what happens from there, because I don't know if we're going to go straight back into a labyrinth right after that, or if we're just going to hang out a bit more. So thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Conception Plus, made of the 12 stars, and I'll see you all next time.